Being able to work the ball left to right or right to left can be very advantageous to get a lot of tuck pins for some of the courses you play. And in today's video, I'm going to show you how to hit both of those shots. The ability to hit draws and phases, as I mentioned in the intro, can allow you to have a lot more creativity in your game and get to those tucked pins that uh, greenskeepers or tournament directors like to stick hidden away uh, that make it very, very hard to get the ball close and obviously make birdie or better. And having a general understanding on how to do that will help you learn how to hit these shots. You can go out and practice them and get them to a point where you feel very comfortable with them. Now, overall, the ability to hit or shape a shot right to left or left to right will be the face, where the face is pointed in relationship to the direction that the club is moving. So this is very well known for, for some of you who might be new. If the face is closed, meaning for a right-handed golfer, the face is pointed left of the direction that the club is moving in in its path, then the axis of the, spin, of the ball will spin from right to left. If the face is open in relationship, in other words, for a right-handed golfer, the face is turned more to the right and the path is moving more from right to left, it's going to put left to right spin on. So the axis of the ball will be tilted and it'll move the ball left to right. So having a general understanding of that will help you hit draws and fades, or at least teach you how to hit draw and fades. Now, what I've done here is I made a little station to try to illustrate maybe a, a little bit easier for you at home. And when you go out, I would highly recommend that you use these sticks and these alignments, at least to give you a mental picture of where you're supposed to line up and where you're supposed to aim your face. So if I can just explain real briefly, this grayish uh, piece of pipe here would illustrate the target line. Obviously, that's gonna go right out to the tree in the middle of the driving range. So if I wanted to hit a draw in this instance, what I'm going to do is line my feet up parallel to the yellow lines, as you can see here. And then my club face is going to be lined up to the orange line. So obviously I'm going to swing down the yellow lines and because the face is aimed to the left of that for a right-handed golfer, the face is IE closed in relationship to the direction that the club is moving in. So I should get a draw and hopefully it'll look something like this. And as you can see, that one drew roughly seven yards from right to left. Conversely, let me move these the other way. If I wanted to hit a fade, what I would do is move these the other direction as such. Get those a little closer to where they should be. So now for a fade, I'm going to again line my feet up parallel to the yellow sticks, but I'm going to point my club face in the direction of the orange sticks. So the club face is going to be open or to the right in relation to my stance and or the direction I'm going to swing the club. And let me give this a shot and it should look something like this. And that one goes about five to seven yards left to right. Now keep in mind, fades have a tendency to go a little bit higher, draws have a tendency to go a little bit lower. So you might have to modify your distances to accommodate that. But I hope this helps you. I hope it helps uh, understand draws and fades better. I hope it gives you an illustration of what you can do with some sticks and some lines. So when you go out to the golf course or your practice range, you can practice this, learn how to hit these shots, get to those tuck pins and have a lot of fun in the process. Hey everybody, thank you for watching another one of our videos. If you found this useful and used it in your game, don't forget to click that like button and let us know down in the comments below. Also, don't forget to check out our podcast, one of the hottest podcasts in golf, Golf 360. If you'd like to watch another one of our videos or subscribe to our channel, you can do so right over here.